Hey there, it's Ben Hassel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna be having a look at how we separate audio uh, from our main storyline. So basically, this is useful if you want to pull a audio track um, away from your main storyline uh, so that you can edit video clips uh, down to that main storyline. And we're also gonna have a look at how we separate an audio track away from the main storyline uh, from an existing video track, so how we kind of separate out those two tracks. And one of the key things we're gonna look at here is how we keep the timing in place when we're actually separating out that audio track, um, which is kind of a nice, neat trick so that you can kind of keep all the timing of your subsequent clips in place, um, but kind of move the audio track um, away from that main storyline. So in this video sponsored by FX Factory, we're going to be covering uh, some very kind of quick, cool tips for working with audio. Um, and it's definitely worth going to the FX Factory website and checking out some of their plugins for noise removal and stuff like that. They have a lot of awesome plugins there that I use all the time uh, for kind of keeping my sound in check um, but without further ado let's dive in and have a look at how we separate or move audio away from the main storyline so in this first tip for separating audio from the main storyline we're going to have a look at how we can place uh, an audio track um, at the beginning of our edit here um, and you may want to do this if you've edited your video and then you've got an intro that you want to add at the beginning and you kind of want it to time uh, with a specific audio track so i'm going to jump up to my audio here and I've got this audio track that I want to drop down to the main storyline so basically if I drag this down to my storyline then there's only really two places I can pop it one is um, at the beginning of my edit here um, and the other is as a connected clip um, underneath my edit and I don't really want to do either of those so basically I want to create a space um, at the beginning here where I can then begin to edit uh, videos to that audio track. So I want to separate this from the main storyline. So we'll just pull that away and basically there's two steps to kind of making this happen. So the first is to drag the clip down um, into that first spot um, right at the beginning and then basically if we go to edit and lift from storyline because it's an audio track it's going to drop it below our main storyline there. So now we have this slug in place, it's keeping the timing of that audio track and we can begin to edit down uh, to the main storyline. So basically this is one particular example where I would want to create this type of a space for an audio track and then if I come to my position tool and up into my Steadicam shots here, I can grab some clips that I've already kind of marked out and we'll drop these down to the timeline and you can see with the position tool here selected, we're actually dropping those and it's not knocking the audio out of position. So I can grab, let's grab a couple of these. Okay, so you can see as I drop these down, they're snapping together, which is great. Um, I can pick out some different shots that we have here and we can drop them onto that main storyline. So now if I select all those clips, I can now come up to my audio options. I wanna drop the audio for each of those clips down. So by holding down shift and selecting all of those, I can now come up to my inspector on the top right and drop down the audio for all of those. The other thing I can do as well is if I come to my speed um, up in the middle here, I can slow these down. These are shot at 60 frames per second. And so if I slow these down to 50%, uh, then it's basically going to slow them down. Uh, we are getting that little bit of bumping um, of this track, but once we've got the timing of everything at the beginning perfect here, we can obviously delete this slug once we've kind of filled up this space. So we've just made a big chunk of space at the beginning of our edit where we can drop those clips in, um, and it has basically allowed us to um, edit in that spot. So for this next tip, I'm just going to delete uh, some of these text layers that are here. Okay, and basically another example of removing your audio from the main storyline is if you wanted to separate out um, some spoken word uh, from the main storyline but keep the spacing that this clip is kind of giving you uh, in place. So basically if I select this clip and then go to clip and detach audio, it's going to detach my audio, but at the same time, if I now delete this clip, it's going to delete the audio as well, even though I've detached that audio. So basically, there's a couple of different ways in which we can do this. One is to go to Edit, Lift from Main Storyline, which will again lift this video clip, the separated video clip, um, to a connected clip, and we can then delete it, and it keeps this slug in place, and we can do the same thing there. The other way that we can do it is if I select this clip and hold down Shift and Delete, it will delete that clip but it will leave the slug in place there. So basically I'm detaching my audio, but I'm leaving the rest of the timeline um, intact. So there are certain examples of when you might wanna 
do this uh, to keep the timing in place but to delete uh, certain video clips and these are basically two ways in which we can detach clips either from the video or from the main storyline keep some of the timing in place and make space to then edit down to on the timeline and one of the keys here is using the lift edit and the other one is to use the position tool when you begin to edit clips down um, to the storyline so you don't nudge the audio out of place so when we're using the position tool to edit for example clips down to this block here it's snapping to the previous clip but because it's the position tool it's not changing the timing that we have here which is great if we want to keep that timing intact um, in certain areas of our timeline so those are the two uh, tips for today's tutorial um, i hope they're useful they're definitely useful if you want to kind of keep the timing of things in place particularly if you're working on things like music videos then deleting clips um, from the main storyline using shift and backspace or shift and delete depending on what it says on your keyboard is super useful and um, it will stop subsequent clips down the timeline being knocked out of place and then this detaching of the audio from a video clip but then keeping the timing of everything in place is something that was a question that popped up on the YouTube channel. So if you do have any questions about how to edit in Final Cut Pro 10, then please do drop me a message and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.